What marvelous affirmation that yes, hearts and minds can be changed. Because I think all of us in this room struggle with why are we doing it? Yes, we're doing it out of faith. Yes, we're doing it out of hope. But how good it is to know that sometimes hearts and minds are changed. We're gonna kinda go backwards to the beginning. So we're gonna start with Mike Wally and the Transform Now Plowshares at Oak Ridge, which as you know, got probably more publicity, more press um, than any Plowshares action since the 80s, probably because they were so darn successful in getting to the heart of this horrible manufacturing facility. Um, they certainly did shake up <laughs> the <laughs> powers that be. And as Anne Mc or, um, my sister said, she became the poster child of the movement, being an 80-year-old nun who um, was went over all these hills. So I'm going to let Mike tell the story as it was. It, today is the uh, 28th of July. so. It's the anniversary day six years ago when I and uh, uh, Sister Megan Rice and uh, Greg Burchie Obed uh, did our uh, protest activity at the uh, Antichrist uh, U.S. government uh, Oak Ridge Y-12 nuclear weapons uh, uh, production facilities outside of uh, Knoxville, Tennessee. I was approached in the winter of uh, 2012 by uh, Sister Megan and Greg Borchi Obed, they were uh, seeking recruits to help them in a uh, plan that they had developed to uh, to do a protest against the uh, criminal activities that had been going on in Oak Ridge, Tennessee since World War II. And uh, they were crisscrossing the country seeking recruits, and I was the only one they were able to come up with. So <laughs> we were planning about planning and praying, and uh, we had a few people that were interested for a while, but you know, they had other responsibilities in life and decided to uh, make their investments elsewhere. So <laughs> we were months in planning, perfectly, uh, a vast, vast network of supportive people who uh, see the uh, wisdom of uh, sending these nuclear weapons back to hell where they came from, supported us, and we, we, we very carefully uh, planned and a lot of it was uh, uh, repeat uh, planning and preparations from uh, many other plowshares uh, activities uh, that had been done uh, over the decades since 1980, other uh, Carl uh, Cabot and others. So I don't know what else to say about the preparations. We uh, had support locally in the community, uh, uh, and then uh, early in the morning and uh, the wee hours of the 28th of July, we laid it out to the uh, uh, Oak Ridge Y-12 site. We uh, were dropped off. We uh, had two bars of bolt cutters. We cut through um, four fences and we went uh, through the uh, uh, long uh, walk through the, uh, through the woods before we got to the top of the uh, um, Pine Ridge and down in the valley below us. We, so it looked like a, we didn't know otherwise, it looked like a, just a regular town, many, many lights, uh, but no uh, traffic uh, except for one uh, patrol car that went by. So it went by us and we hustled down to cross the road, but then we came back on a return trip, so we had to crouch down then it passed by again when we hustled up. We didn't have any time for uh, to have any uh, prayer meetings or anything. At that time, we wanted to hustle up and get to the building. So we cut through the last three fences and we, uh, we poured the blood, we spray painted our messages, we gave reference to, uh, to uh, uh, the prophet Isaiah, we uh, condemned the uh, criminal activities going on, and then we were at the site for no more than half an hour, kind of murky about that. And then uh, the one single uh, officer, Garland, as we later learned his name was, he showed up 
didn't even pull his uh, weapon. Uh, he, uh, then he summoned other people uh, through a, a walkie-talkie or electronically or whatever. A few minutes later, others arrived. We were taken into custody. We were uh, uh, spread-eagled on the ground, and we were taken to, late that morning, about 10 o'clock maybe, we were taken to the Blount County uh, 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 prison, the jail, uh, a suburb of uh, Knoxville, Tennessee, and we were kept there for about a week. And Greg, he decided to stick around in jail because he has a further uh, opposition to the uh, uh, criminal activities going on at Oak Ridge White Hope. Sister Megan and I took the opportunity to agree to reappear for a later court date, uh, which we did, and <coughs> they, uh, we, we were threatened repeatedly. Firstly, at a uh, uh, minor charge uh, against us, but uh, um, but then they we refused to cooperate, and then they kept upping the ante. We wound, finally wound up going to court in uh, the following uh, May, sixth uh, through the eighth of May of uh, the following year of 2013. We were put on trial, uh, faced with two felony counts, and a jury of twelve. Uh, one of the people found us guilty of the two, and um, we were immediately taken into custody, and we remained in custody at various uh, penal institutions until uh, uh, May the 16th, uh, two years later, uh, 2015, the, uh, the Sixth Federal Circuit Court of Appeals operating out of Cincinnati, Ohio, um, overturned the uh, felony uh, uh, charge that said that we were guilty of, uh, um, what was it, the uh, sabotaging the national security. But they overturned that one, so that left one charge. They claimed that we uh, destroyed uh, government property. Well, our attitude about that is that these, uh, the torture tools and the nuclear weapons, and all these, it's all part of their criminal activities. They have no legal right to exist. We destroyed no lawful property whatsoever. And, a lot of the this ground about the relative issues are have been pretty much covered, so I'll just wait for the question and answer and discussion period later. Thank you.